Star Catalog, a Star Catalog, Commonwealth English, or Star Catalog, American English, is an astronomical catalog that lists stars. In astronomy, many stars are referred to simply by catalog numbers. There are a great many different star catalogs which have been produced for different purposes over the years, and this article covers only some of the more frequently quoted ones. Star catalogs were compiled by many different ancient people, including the Babylonians, Greeks, Chinese, Persians, and Arabs. They were sometimes accompanied by a star chart for illustration. Most modern catalogs are available in electronic format and can be freely downloaded from space agencies' data centers. Completeness and accuracy is described by the weakest apparent magnitude v, largest number, and the accuracy of the positions. From their existing records, it is known that the ancient Egyptians recorded the names of only a few identifiable constellations and a list of 36 decans that were used as a star clock. The Egyptians called the circumpolar star the star that cannot perish and, although they made no known formal star catalogs, they nonetheless created extensive star charts of the night sky which adorn the coffins and ceilings of tomb chambers. Although the ancient Sumerians were the first to record the names of constellations on clay tablets, the earliest known star catalogs were compiled by the ancient Babylonians of Mesopotamia in the late 2nd millennium BC, during the Cassite period, c. 1531 BC to c. 1155 BC. They are better known by their Assyrian era name three stars each. These star catalogs, written on clay tablets, listed 36 stars, 12 for Anu along the celestial equator, 12 for Ea south of that, and 12 for Enlil to the north. The Mool.Apin lists, dated to sometime before the Neo-Babylonian Empire, 626 to 539 BC, are direct textual descendants of the three stars each lists in their constellation pattern show similarities to those of later Greek civilization. In ancient Greece, the astronomer and mathematician Eudoxus laid down a full set of the classical constellations around 370 BC. His catalog phenomena, rewritten by Aratus of Soli between 275 and 250 BC as a didactic poem, became one of the most consulted astronomical texts in antiquity and beyond. It contains descriptions of the positions of the stars, the shapes of the constellations, and provided information on their relative times of rising and setting. Approximately in the 3rd century BC, the Greek astronomers Timocharis of Alexandria and Aristilus created another star catalog. Hipparchus, circa 190 to circa 120 BC, completed his star catalog in 129 BC, which he compared to Timocharis and discovered that the longitude of the stars had changed over time. This led him to determine the first value of the precession of the equinoxes. In the 2nd century, Ptolemy, circa 90 to circa 186 AD, of Roman Egypt published a star catalog as part of his Almagest, which listed 1,022 stars visible from Alexandria. Ptolemy's catalog was based almost entirely on an earlier one by Hipparchus. It remained the standard star catalog in the Western and Arab worlds for over eight centuries. The Islamic astronomer Al Sufi updated it in 964, and the star positions were redetermined by Ali Abeg in 1437 but it was not fully superseded until the appearance of the Thousand Star Catalog of Tycho Brahe in 1598. Although the ancient Vedas of India specified how the ecliptic was to be divided into 28 nakshatra, Indian constellation patterns were ultimately borrowed from Greek ones sometime after Alexander's conquest in Asia in the 4th century BC. The earliest known inscriptions for Chinese star names were written on oracle bones and date to the Shang Dynasty circa 1600 to circa 1050 BC. Sources dating from the Zhou Dynasty, circa 1050 to 256 BC, which provide star names include the Zhuo Zhuan, the Shi Jing, and the Canon of Yale, in the Book of Documents. The Lu Shi Chun Kui written by the Qin statesman Lu Buvai, d. 235 BC, provides most of the names for the 28 mansions, i.e. asterisms across the ecliptic belt of the celestial sphere used for constructing the calendar. An earlier lacquerware chest found in the tomb of Marquis Yi of Sung interred in 433 BC, contains a complete list of the names of the 28 mansions. Star catalogs are traditionally attributed to Shi Shen and Ganda, two rather obscure Chinese astronomers who may have been active in the 4th century BC of the Warring States period, 403-221 BC. The Shi Shen astronomy, Shi Shen Tianwan, is attributed to Shi Shen, and the astronomic star observation, Tianwen Xingjin, to Ganda. It was not until the Han Dynasty, 202 BC to 220 AD, 
that astronomers started to observe in record names for all the stars that were apparent, to the naked eye, in the night sky, not just those around the ecliptic. A star catalog is featured in one of the chapters of the late 2nd century BC history work records of the Grand Historian by Shimachian, 145-86 BC, and contains the schools of Shishen and Gandhi's work, i.e. the different constellations they allegedly focused on for astrological purposes. Shima's catalog, the Book of Celestial Offices, Tianguan Shu, includes some 90 constellations, the stars therein named after temples, ideas in philosophy, locations such as markets and shops, and different people such as farmers and soldiers. For his spiritual constitution of the universe, Ling Shen, of 120 AD, the astronomer Zhang Heng, 78-139 AD, compiled a star catalog comprising 124 constellations. Chinese constellation names were later adopted by the Koreans and Japanese. A large number of star catalogs were published by Muslim astronomers in the medieval Islamic world. These were mainly Zich treatises, including Arzakel's Tables of Toledo, 1087, the Marigay Observatory's Zij Ilkani, 1272, and Aliabeg's Zij Sultani, 1437. Other famous Arabic star catalogues include al fragana's A Compendium of the Science of Stars, 850, which corrected Ptolemy's Almagest, and Asofi's Book of Fixed Stars, 964, which described observations of the stars, their positions, magnitudes, brightness and color, drawings for each constellation, and the first descriptions of Andromeda Galaxy in the Large Magellanic Cloud. Many stars are still known by their Arabic names. See List of Arabic Star Names. The Modal Dictionary, compiled in the 16th century by an anonymous author, although attributed to Fray Antonio de Ciudad Real, contains a list of stars originally observed by the ancient Mayas. The Maya Paris Codex also contains symbols for different constellations which were represented by mythological beings. Two systems introduced in historical catalogues remain in use to the present day. The first system comes from the German astronomer Johann Baer's Uranometria published in 1603 and regarding bright stars. These are given a Greek letter followed by the genitive case of the constellation in which they are located, examples are Alpha Centauri or Gamma Cygni. The major problem with Bayer's naming system was the number of letters in the Greek alphabet, 24. It was easy to run out of letters before running out of stars needing names, particularly for large constellations such as Argo Navis. Bayer extended his lists up to 67 stars by using lowercase Roman letters, A through Z, then uppercase ones, A through Q. Few of those designations have survived. It is worth mentioning, however, as it served as the starting point for variable star designations, which start with R through Z, then RR, RS, RTRZ, SS. SDZZ and beyond. The second system comes from the English astronomer John Flamsteed's Historia Colestis Britannica, 1725. It kept the genitive of the constellation rule for the back end of his catalogue names, but used numbers instead of the Greek alphabet for the front half. Examples include 61 Cygni and 47 Ursi Majoris. Spire and Flamsteed covered only a few thousand stars between them. In theory, Full sky catalogs try to list every star in the sky. There are, however, billions of stars resolvable by telescopes, so this is an impossible goal. With this kind of catalog, an attempt is generally made to get every star brighter than a given magnitude. Jerome Lalonde published the Histoire Celeste Francaise in 1801, which contained an extensive star catalog, among other things. The observations made were made from the Paris Observatory and so it describes mostly northern stars. This catalog contained the positions and magnitudes of 47,390 stars, out to magnitude 9, and was the most complete catalog up to that time. A significant reworking of this catalog in 1846 added reference numbers to these stars that are used to refer to some of these stars to this day. The decent accuracy of this catalog kept it in common use as a reference by observatories around the world throughout the 19th century. The Bonner Durchmusterung, German, Bonn Sampling and follow-ups were the most complete of the pre-photographic star catalogs. The Bonner Durchmusterung itself was published by Friedrich Wilhelm Argelander, Adalbert Kruger, and Edward Sean Feld between 1852 and 1859. It covered 320,000 stars in Epoch 1855.0. As it covered only the northern sky and some of the south, being compiled from the Bonn Observatory, 
This was then supplemented by the Sudley Shade Erchmus Terung, SD, which covers stars between declinations minus 1 and minus 23 degrees 1886, 120,000 stars. It was further supplemented by the Cordoba Erchmus Terung, 580,000 stars, which began to be compiled at Cordoba, Argentina in 1892 under the initiative of John M. Tomey and covers declinations minus 22 to minus 90. Lastly, the Cape Photographic Erchmus Terung, 450,000 stars, 1896, compiled at the Cape, South Africa, covers declinations minus 18 to minus 90. Astronomers preferentially use the HD designation, see next entry, of a star, as that catalog also gives spectroscopic information, but as the Dirchmus Terungs cover more stars they occasionally fall back on the older designations when dealing with one not found in Draper. Unfortunately, a lot of catalogs cross-reference the Dirchmus Terungs without specifying which one is used in the zones of overlap, so some confusion often remains. Star names from these catalogs include the initials of which of the four catalogs they are from, though the Southern follows the example of the Bonner and USPT, CPD is often shortened to CP, followed by the angle of declination of the star, rounded towards zero, and thus ranging from plus 00 to plus 89 and minus 00 to minus 89, followed by an arbitrary number as there are always thousands of stars at each angle. Examples include BD plus 50 degrees 1725 or CD minus 45 degrees 13677. The Henry Draper catalog was published in the period 1918 to 1924. It covers the whole sky down to about 9th or 10th magnitude, and is notable as the first large-scale attempt to catalog spectral types of stars. The catalog was compiled by Annie Jump Cannon and her co-workers at Harvard College Observatory under the supervision of Edward Charles Pickering and was named in honor of Henry Draper, whose widow donated the money required to finance it. HD numbers are widely used today for stars which have no Bayer or Flamsteed designation. Stars numbered 1 to 225,300 are from the original catalog and are numbered in order of right ascension for the 1900.0 epoch. Stars in the range 225,301 to 359,083 are from the 1949 extension of the catalog. The notation HDE can be used for stars in this extension, but they are usually denoted HD as the numbering ensures that there can be no ambiguity. The catalog astrographic, astrographic catalog, was part of the International Card du Ciel program designed to photograph and measure the positions of all stars brighter than magnitude 11.0. In total, over 4.6 million stars were observed, many as faint as 13th magnitude. This project was started in the late 19th century. The observations were made between 1891 and 1950. To observe the entire celestial sphere without burdening too many institutions, the sky was divided among 20 observatories, by declination zones. Each observatory exposed and measured the plates of its zone, using a standardized telescope, a normal astrograph so each plate photographed had a similar scale of approximately 60 arcsecs slash m. The U.S. Naval Observatory took over custody of the catalog, now in its 2000.2 edition. First published in 1930 as the Yale Catalog of Bright Stars, this catalog contained information on all stars brighter than visual magnitude 6.5 in the Harvard Revised Photometry Catalog. The list was revised in 1983 with the publication of a supplement that listed additional stars down to magnitude 7.1. The catalog detailed each star's coordinates, proper motions, photometric data, spectral types, and other useful information. The last printed version of the Bright Star Catalog was the fourth revised edition, released in 1982. The fifth edition is in electronic form and is available online. The Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory Catalog was compiled in 1966 from various previous astrometric catalogs, and contains only the stars to about ninth magnitude for which accurate proper motions were known. There is considerable overlap with the Henry Draper Catalog, but any star lacking motion data is omitted. The epoch for the position measurements in the latest edition is J2000.0. The Cell Catalog contains this major piece of information not in Draper the proper motion of the stars, so it is often used when that fact is of importance. The cross-references with the Draper and Dirchmister own catalog numbers in the latest edition are also useful. Names in the cell catalog start with the letters cell, followed by a number. The numbers are assigned following 18 10-degree bands in the sky, with stars sorted by right ascension within each band. 
Island. USNO B1.0 is an all-sky catalog created by research and operations astrophysicists at the U.S. Naval Observatory, as developed at the United States Naval Observatory Flagstaff Station, that presents positions, proper motions, magnitudes in various optical passbands, and star-slash-galaxy estimators for 1,042,618,261 objects derived from 3,643,201,733 separate observations. The data was obtained from scans of 7,435 Schmidt plates taken for the various sky surveys during the last 50 years. USNO B1.0 is believed to provide all sky coverage, completeness down to V equals 21. 0.2 arc second astrometric accuracy at J2000.0, 0.3 magnitude photometric accuracy in up to five colors, and 85% accuracy for distinguishing stars from non stellar objects. USNOBI is now followed by NOMAD, both can be found on the Naval Observatory server. The Naval Observatory is currently working on B2 and C variants of the USNO catalog series. The Guide Star Catalog is an online catalog of stars produced for the purpose of accurately positioning and identifying stars satisfactory for use as guide stars by the Hubble Space Telescope program. The first version of the catalog was produced in the late 1980s by digitizing photographic plates and contained about 20 million stars, out to about magnitude 15. The latest version of this catalog contains information for 945,592,683 stars, out to magnitude 21. The latest version continues to be used to accurately position the Hubble Space Telescope. The PPM Star Catalog, 1991, is one of the best, both in the proper motion and star position till 1999. Not as precise as the Hipparchos Catalog but with many more stars. The PPM was built from BD, SAO. HD and more, with sophisticated algorithm and is an extension for the fifth fundamental catalog, Catalogs of Fundamental Stars. The Hipparchos catalog was compiled from the data gathered by the European Space Agency's astrometric satellite Hipparchos, which was operational from 1989 to 1993. The catalog was published in June 1997 and contains 118,218 stars. An updated version with reprocessed data was published in 2007. It is particularly notable for its parallax measurements, which are considerably more accurate than those produced by ground based observations. A revised version was published in 2007. The Gaia catalog is released in stages that will contain increasing amounts of information. The early releases will also miss some stars, especially fainter stars located in dense star fields. Data from every data release can be accessed at the Gaia archive. Gaia DR1, the first data release of the spacecraft Gaia mission, based on 14 months of observations made through September 2015, took place on September 13, 2016. The data release includes positions and magnitudes in a single photometric band for 1.1 billion stars using only Gaia data, positions, parallaxes and proper motions for more than 2 million stars based on a combination of Gaia and Tycho 2 data for those objects in both catalogs, light curves and characteristics for about 3,000 variable stars, and positions and magnitudes for more than 2,000 extragalactic sources used to define the celestial reference frame. The second data release, DR2, which occurred on April 25, 2018, is based on 22 months of observations made between July 25, 2014 and May 23, 2016. It includes positions, parallaxes and proper motions for about 1.3 billion stars and positions of an additional 300 million stars, red and blue photometric data for about 1.1 billion stars and single color photometry for an additional 400 million stars, and median radial velocities for about 7 million stars between magnitude 4 and 13. It also contains data for over 14,000 selected solar system objects. The full Gaia catalog will be released in 2022. Specialized catalogs make no effort to list all the stars in the sky, working instead to highlight a particular type of star, such as variables or nearby stars. Aitken's Double Star Catalog, 1932, lists 17,180 double stars north of declination minus 30 degrees. Stevenson's General Catalog of Galactic Carbon Stars is a catalog of 7,000 plus carbon stars. The Gliese, later Gliese Gerice, catalog attempts to list all star systems within the Earth ordered by right ascension. See the list of nearest stars. Later editions expanded the coverage to numbers in the range 1.0 to 915.0, GL numbers, 
are from the second edition, which was the integers up to 915 represent systems which were in the first edition. Numbers with a decimal point were used to insert new star systems for the second edition without destroying the desired order, by right ascension. This catalog is referred to as CNS2, although this name is never used in catalog numbers. Numbers in the range 9001 to 9850, WO numbers, are from the supplement. Numbers in the ranges 1000 to 1294 and 2001 to 2159, GJ numbers, are from the supplement. The range 1000 to 1294 represents nearby stars, while 2001 to 2159 represents suspected nearby stars. In the literature, the GJ numbers are sometimes retroactively extended to the GL numbers, since there is no overlap. For example, GLEES 436 can be interchangeably referred to as either GL 436 or GJ 436. Numbers in the range 3001 to 4388 are from. Although this version of the catalog was termed preliminary, it is still the current one, and is referred to as CNS 3. It lists a total of 3,803 stars. Most of these stars already had GJ numbers, but there were also 1,388 which were not numbered. The need to give these 1,388 some name has resulted in them being numbered 3,001 to 4,388, and then numbers, for no name, and data files of this catalog now usually include these numbers. An example of a star which is often referred to be one of these unofficial GJ numbers is GJ 3021. The general catalog of trigonometric parallaxes, first published in 1952 and later superseded by the new GCTP. Now in its fourth edition, covers nearly 9,000 stars. Unlike the Gliess, it does not cut off at a given distance from the Sun, rather it attempts to catalog all known measured parallaxes. It gives the coordinates in 1900 epoch, the secular variation, the proper motion, the weighted average absolute parallax and its standard error, the number of parallax observations, quality of interagreement of the different values, the visual magnitude and various cross identifications with other catalogs. Auxiliary information, including UBV photometry, MK spectral types, data on the variability and binary nature of the stars, orbits when available, and miscellaneous information though aid in determining the reliability of the data are also listed. A common way of detecting nearby stars is to look for relatively high proper motions. Several catalogs exist, of which we'll mention a few. The Ross and Wolf catalogs pioneered the domain. Willem Jacob Luton later produced a series of catalogs. L. Luton, Proper Motion Stars and White Dwarf Swift, Luton 5 Tenths Catalog. LHS, Luton Half Second Catalog. LTT, Luton 2 Tenths Catalog. NLTT, New Luton 2 Tenths Catalog. LPM, Luton Proper Motion Catalog. Around the same time period, Henry Lee Gisielis worked on a similar series of catalogs. The UV Beta Photoelectric Photometric Catalog is a compilation of previously published photometric data. Published in 1998, the catalog includes 63,316 stars surveyed through 1996. Stars evolve and move over time, making catalogs evolving, impermanent databases at even the most rigorous levels of production. The USNO catalogs are the most current and widely used astrometric catalogs available at present, and include USNO products such as USNO B, the successor to USNO A, Nomad, UCAC, and others in production or narrowly released. Some users may see specialized catalogs, more recent versions of the above, tailored catalogs, interferometrically produced catalogs dynamic catalogs, and those with updated positions, motions, colors, and improved errors. Catalog data is continually collected at the Naval Observatory Dark Sky Facility, NOFS, and the latest refined, updated catalogs are reduced and produced by NOFS and the USNO. See the USNO catalog and image servers for more information and access. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.